Hello, this is Oshie from Crafting with Oshie and welcome to this video. Thank you for joining me today. This is the card you're making, isn't it cute? It's this top folding card and it's using a new, all new product from the new annual catalogue. And I just love these little balloons, they're just so cute. And it's really easy to make, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with our stamping and this is the new stamp set beautiful balloons and we're going to use all these balloons and these little bits of confetti and all sorts of stuff. So let's start by stamping our balloons. So I have here a piece of basic white scraps and we're going to be stamping our balloons. So I'll take out our largest balloon here. There we go. I need a block. So that one will do fine. Now this card I did previously used two of our new in colours and they are Azure Afternoon and Berry Burst and I'm going to use two different colours this time. I'm going to be using Pretty Peacock and Bubble Bath and they're also new colours. So let's start off with some lovely Bubble Bath. I love the names that Stampin' Up! think up for their for their stamp sets, they're just so cute. So just give it a really good ink up, it's a big stamp. So I'm going to stamp that, hold it down, hold it, hold it. Lovely. So that's how uh, you can't see it very well, I can see on the camera, but it is there, I promise. And Gonna clean it up. Whoops. Just gonna clean it up using a simple chamois because I want the block. And I just put the case in the ink pad as you do. Okay, so let's put that in front of us so we can use it. Let's take our big stampy off, make sure it's clean, and then we're gonna go for the smaller ones. And now I'm now going to switch to some Pretty Peacock. It's been a long time since I've used Pretty Peacock. This is a returning um, colour. We used to have this as an ink colour and now it's returned to our colour family. So let's ink this up nicely. Okay, and down, hold. Lovely. And the ink does smooth out a bit as it dries, so don't worry about that. And then we're going to do a very smallest one here. I'm just going to use the same block because I've got it out. Lovely. And give that a clean too. Didn't give it a very good clean. Give it another clean. Okay, put this back. I'm going to get out a sentiment now. Sentiment says happy birthday. So I'm going to use my grid paper just to line, help me line it up. Okay, there we go. I'm going to stamp this also in pretty peacock ink. Just somewhere down here. Perfect. Okay, so let's get rid of this stamp now and this block. Need a smaller block if possible. Of course, we're going to stamp now our background. So I've got a piece here again, a basic white, but this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10. And I'm just going to use this little confetti type stamp. I'm going to look for a small block, the smallest we have, to stamp this. I'm just going to stamp this randomly all over the top sort of portion. As you can see here, we've got a piece of designer series paper that's going to come down. And I have already cut mine, and that was from the Bright and Beautiful selection. So you can actually put this on here. And see roughly where 
it will end. So anything above there we're going to stamp in. Anything below there and it won't show. Okay, that's enough as a good as a feast. Clean that up. Give it a good cleaning because we need our block. You don't need lots of blocks, you just need to keep cleaning between uses. I'm going to get rid of um, Pretty Peacock. We're done with that one now. And we're going to be using some bubble bath again. Give it a good press down. And this is quite a light colour anyway, so it's not going to be like the berry burst. And I'm just stamping randomly here, there, and everywhere. When you don't have a constant place to stamp, it's a good time to stop. So, get rid of that one there and clean this up. We're finished with our stamping for now, so let's clear the decks a little bit. Okay. Okay, so. I've got here a piece of the bright and beautiful designer series paper and this piece actually measured the same as our background 10 and um, 10 centimeters by 14.35 centimeters and I just cut it on the diagonal and basically I cut it in half and I've used one half of this card and one half for my next card so it's a great way to stretch your supplies make them last a bit longer and I'm going to use some Tombow and I'm just going to stick this down to our stamped background. Okay, so let's try and line it up the best we can. The Tombow does give you a little bit of wriggle room to try and get things okay, and that will do for me. There we are. Okay, so next thing to do is we need to cut out all of our stamped images. And to do that, we are going to use the matching dies that are here. These are the balloon, beautiful balloons dies. You can see you get quite a selection. So we're going to use that one for there. You've got balloons for here and for there. And then I am going to just cut up my sentiment freehand using my trimmer. So I'm going to put this all through the die cutting machine and I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut out all my pieces. You can see here my balloon and my background. And I've cut out my sentiment using my trimmer. And now I'm just going to back it on a piece of Azure Afternoon. Azure Afternoon. Just to, because I always like to back everything. I know it's not the same colour, but it still looks okay because this colour is in the designer series paper that we're using. So it just helps to pick up that other colour out of the background. I'm just going to cut it out freehand using my scissors, and that will do nicely. Okay, so now it's time to assemble our card. I've got here some of our linen thread and I'm just going to cut off pieces because I just want three little pieces and we're going to be using these for our tails of our balloon. That'll do. I'm going to put one here on the back and I'm just going to take off a dimensional just stick it into the dimensional and then for these others 
I'm just going to get a piece here, a small piece here of tear and tape. And I'm just going to stick them down at the back using that. Just another small piece. Look, tear and tape sticking to me. Okay, that'll be do. And there we've got our little tails. So I'm gonna get some more dimensionals. I'm gonna stick these on the back of our sentiment. Isn't that great? We've finished all of our sheet of dimensionals. It's always nice. And then I'm gonna put just some normal glue in the middle, and you'll see why in a minute. Now we're going to start to assemble our card. So I'm going to start off with, before we do that, let's stick it to our card base. It's always a good thing. So our card base is a standard A6 card base. It's top folding. So it's an A4 sheet cut in half on the short side at 10.5 centimetres and then folded in half at 14.85 centimetres. So I'm just going to put some seal on the back of our stamp piece and I've got glue somewhere on my craft sheet. I'll see if I can just rub it off. There we go. Okay. So just try and get this centered as much as possible. There we are. Make sure it's in the right orientation it is. Now we can start to put down our balloons. So take the backings off these dimensionals. There we go, all off. I'm going to stick one down, just like that. And then I'm going to have another one here. So it needs to have a dimensional just on one side, but not on the other. So let's get some dimensionals. Just move this back up properly to shot. Brand new sheet of dimensionals. Here we go. First one being used. Momentous occasion. Okay. So I'm going to take off my tear and tape as well. The backings off my tear and tape I should rather say. I'm backing off my dimensional and then I'm just going to put a bit of seal for the rest of it and I'm just going to have that coming down somewhere around there. That'll do and then exactly the same for this one here and take this backings off if it wants to come off it's fighting me there's always one isn't there and then I'm actually going to use here just a mini dimensional just on the one side so it needs to be on this side here take the backing off and use it on the other side actually Whoops, that was clever. Ah, move it across. There we go. Sorry, I'm not in shot. I had to see what I was doing. Put the dimension on the wrong side. As you do. And now we can see we can trim our tails roughly somewhere round. Yeah, come Tony around there and they're going to come down I'm going to get some tear and tape and I'm going to just gather them together hold them in place using my scissors take the backing off 
here's my sentiment I've got dimensionals on here too that's why you need the tear and tape and some glue as well just to keep everything in place and that's what we've got so far doesn't look too bad so let's get rid of all these backings and I tend to just lift up my paper like this and dump straight in the bin most of them always well, hopefully land up in the bin so now finishing touches I've got here some iridescent rhinestones and just going to use a few of these on the balloon just to give it something something whoops that one definitely didn't want to go in a pointed position okay so there we go there are the two cards you can tell me which um, variation in colour you prefer um, the supplies the measurements etc will all be on my blog post on the my website and the links to that on my social media links are in the description box below if you enjoyed this video i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube down and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos and until next time enjoy being creative bye